Hey, Perry from Monkey Guitars here. So I took my stick that I picked up at the lumber yard, I laid it out, uh, chopped my lengths out of it, and I've gone through the whole milling process. And as I was saying before, for certain builds I'm doing, I like to include all, uh, all or some of the defects. Um, in the case of this build, this is actually going to be a uh, lefty. Um, so my control cavity is actually going to cover this knot or route it out completely. And uh, these are going to be on the back of the body. And there are also other uh, defects or um, characters on the other side, which will be the front side of the guitar. Um, so now I have all my blocks, my three blocks milled out. And uh, this is a little trick that I learned when I was working at SCGC. I don't remember which one of the guys there said this, but it took me by surprise in the sense that I never thought of a way and I always hear, and you're wondering what is he talking about, uh, proper glue technique. So your joinery in how you use your joiner, whether it's a planer, a router table, um, whatever means that you use to join your blocks together, uh, your joinery is important. Your glue technique is equally important. So if you follow me over here, um, I like to use Gorilla White Glue, I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, I really like their product especially for alder. Um, so when you are gluing up uh, blocks or even plates for acoustic guitars or different layers, um, I like to add a really decent bead uh, to, to the surface that I'm going to join. And then I take my index finger and I wipe it across and I'm working to spread it and distribute it nice and even. And the goal here is to create a really nice skin layer of glue. A really nice even skin layer, meaning I can see through it. It's not completely opaque and soaking. Um, the advantage to this nice skin layer, and you can see I'm working it into the surface, is that it starts to tack up a lot faster and actually grabs. And if your joinery is really good, the when you put the boards together like this, they already suck together. So right now I'm trying to push them against, slide them like this, and they don't want to move because that joint is so good. So by adding this nice skin layer of glue that's already starting to tack, the moment it touches, it's not going to want to go anywhere. And this is what we want. So there's... A lot of uh, ideas around glue technique and uh, joinery and I speak from 100% experience in a high, uh, what do you call it, uh, production um, atmosphere both in my shop and other shops. Um, one of the things that we tested was uh, the amount of time that you need stuff to be in clamps and the amount of time that it takes glue to set enough to remove from the clamps because most shops only have so many clamps and you might need more to meet your production goals for the day or the week. Um, and if your joinery is good and your glue technique is solid, you only need to let these sort of things sit in the clamps for 30 minutes or so um, and you might be all thinking that's crazy talk you need to let that sit overnight well what you're talking about in that instance is cure time so I'm gonna go ahead and put these clamps on here and I'm gonna lightly get the end clamps on because this is gonna slide a little bit once there's pressure on it will slide so I like to lightly get them in place and uh, I have my uh, rough template drawing on here so I can use this to line my blocks up. I'm going to get this in here real light and then I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to put this uh, third clamp on. And having a clamp on the opposite side of the other clamps is crucial, in my opinion, to creating a nice, even distribution of pressure. And um, since I know my joinery is solid and I know my glue technique uh, works for, for my uh, whole glue-up technique, all I need is enough pressure on these clamps as if I was just holding this together. And you can see a little squeeze out here, and that's good. That's very good if you see that. That is just saying that there was enough glue uh, on the surface, and this is all residual. So I'm going to let this sit here for 30 minutes, and I'll go ahead and write the time on here. And um, I'm going to come back in 30 minutes and pull this out and let it rest. Um, and I might let it rest till the end of the day. And if I'm really itching to work on this project, I'll get right back to it. Um, otherwise, I'll have something to work on in the morning, in which case I'll come out and I will actually cut this out pretty close to this line. And I'll send it through my thickness sander uh, because I have one. And, uh, and then I'll get working on the rest of this project. Uh, but that's what I wanted to share with you for uh, this, this episode, which is glue technique. So if you have any questions, please comment in, in the comments below and um, you know like and share this video with anybody that you think it might benefit. And uh, you can find more information at my Unga Guitars website. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.